Uh, yep, I think this is the place. Now, the owners staying in a hotel nearby said things were getting so bad that they couldn't bear to sleep here anymore. I have my doubts. I have a feeling they were really playing things up. They seemed to think the idea of hiring paranormal investigators was a bit of fun. If only they knew what we'd seen in the past. Okay, let me see. Ugh, Ray's made a mess of this job sheet. Hardly any detail. Says the key should be under this rock, I think. Yep, here we are. Hmm. Good. You, uh, have the PKE meter ready? Oh yeah, they finally got the new ones in. Massive upgrade. The on switch is on the bottom of the handle. Yeah, you got it. There we go. I left it in low ionization mode, right? Yeah, the little yellow light should be on. Okay. Good to go then. On me. Alright. Scan the room with the meter, slowly. Watch for activity in the wings. There. A few degrees back to the left. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Whew. That's a strong reading to get right in the entrance like that. But I don't see anything on the camera. <laughs> yes, the UV lenses are definitely attached. Good thinking, though. I have forgotten that in the past. I'm glad you're paying attention. <clears throat> Let's, um... Let's go down that hallway. I think that was the direction the readings seemed strongest. Uh, so this is your first class three, right? Yeah, I thought I remembered you mentioning. That's normal. Ray tends to keep people on class ones and twos for a bit when they're new. But now you've got a dozen or so under your belt, it's class three time. <sighs> yeah, most of that dozen or so has been with me. Things have been really picking up around here lately. I don't know why Ray keeps putting the two of us on the same jobs, though. Nah, must just be a coincidence. Ah, uh, you picking anything up yet? Hmm, no. Reading seem to have died off a little. Let's poke around in here a bit. No, I'm not sure where the sightings actually were. Or even if there have been any physical sightings. The paperwork for this job is so sloppy. Let me just double check. Nope. Almost nothing. Looks like they're on the phone for all of 30 seconds. Literally all it says is the address. And that was wrong. I had to call the client to get the right one. And client at hotel. Key under rock. Prob class 3. Focused full torso. One pack. One trap. One PKE meter. Yeah, that's it. That's all we get these days. They're just so busy. Don't have the time for loads of detail on every job, I guess. Well, at least we know to look out for a full torso. And if they're right, and it's focused, it won't be going anywhere. Exactly. Easy to trap that way. Oh, <laughs> I see someone's been brushing up on their literature. Did you borrow a copy of Tobin's Spirit Guide, or did you manage to get hold of a copy of your own? Nice. They're hard to track down these days. Yeah, and I had to get mine used, then it's in bits. The spine's fucked. Hmm. That's essentially correct, yes. As a Class 3, it's probably going to be hard to communicate with, but may also resist trapping. We're going to want to keep our wits about us for this. They can be tricky. Honestly, I'd rather have a Class 4, despite the slime. At least they're stupid. Hold up. Wing movement. Sweep over there for me. Hmm. Good. We're on the right track. Hold on. What's that? On the doorknob there. Look. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Ectoplasmic residue. You got a container in your pack? If we don't get a sighting of the thing today, we might at least be able to get a better idea of what it is. Hmm. Pass it here. I'll collect some. You have your hands full with a meter. Uh, 
Ugh. Yep, that's ectoplasm, all right. Ugh. Tuck that away somewhere safe. All right, well, if that was on this doorknob, that gives us a pretty good idea of where this thing might be lurking. I'm going to open the door. Three, two, one. Hmm. Ooh. Cold in here. You feel all that cold air spill out when I open the door? How's the meter looking? Oof. Buried the needle. Okay. We can be pretty sure, whatever it is, it's in here. I'm gonna turn the light on. Okay. Shit. That's no class three. I think... I think that's a class seven. A demon. Only visible through the camera lens, too. Look. Whew, I don't know. I haven't dealt with one of these before. Um, no, I'm sure it's no different. We just need to act quickly. I'll stay here and watch it from the doorway. Um, would you go back to the car and grab the proton pack and the trap? God, I wish we were allowed to bring him in prior to a sighting. I'm sure this was all much easier back in the day before we got regulated. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure I'll be fine. It's... How bad can it be? I've done this a dozen times, just not with a class 7 before. Go now and grab the stuff from the car. Just... Please hurry. <laughs> ah. Good. You're back. You know, I've been thinking. We work so well together. I think there's really something between us. What do you mean, what am I talking about? I'm just trying to tell you how I feel. Oh, yes, the demon, yes. You know, I don't think you need to worry about that anymore. Because I am him, and he is me. <laughs> I can see your deepest desires, and his. I know you want one another. Since almost the very first time your eyes met, you wanted him. And he wanted you, too. It was no coincidence that you've ended up together so often. He asked your boss to pair you up, all because he wanted to spend time with you, but he would never admit to it. Now you have to take the initiative. That, or... Never see your friend again. Yes, that's right. Step forward. Touch him. Somewhere simple at first. The shoulder maybe, the waist, the small of the back. Oh, don't be afraid. This is what he wants, I promise you. And the only way to get him back and find out for yourself is to do what I say. Um, yes, that's it, good girl, I know you want this too, don't hold back, what, do you want me to tell you exactly what to do, <laughs> fine then, caress him, hold his face in your hands, <laughs> oh, you're a natural. Well done. Now, lean forward and kiss him. Why not? Oh, let me guess. You want your first kiss to be the real thing. Hmm. Well, how about this? You start us off. Show us you mean business. Then... Once I can see your heart's in it, I'll leave you to it. If you're really good, perhaps I'll even leave this realm entirely. <laughs> Why not? My treat to you for being such a good girl. Mm hmm. That's more like it. A little obedience. Now, lean in 
and kiss the man I know you love. Ah, it's... Uh, I think we've got an incubus on our hands. But... Wait, I'm... I'm confused. Were you just... What happened? Why were you kissing me? Ah. Uh, so that's what that feeling was. I've never been possessed before. You know, Ray told me it would happen sooner or later... Risk of the job. But I still don't understand. Why were you kissing me? Oh. I said that, huh? Well, I don't know if... I, I mean... What did you think of it? Was it... Was it telling the truth about your feelings, too? <laughs> well... It wasn't lying about me asking Ray to stick me on jobs with you, either. I do have a thing for you. <laughs> Is it stupid to say I'm glad I was possessed? God knows how long it would have taken me to say any of this otherwise. And thank you, by the way, for doing what it seemed like you needed to do. And I hope wanted to do. You did? Well then... Why don't we carry on from where we left off? I think you had your hand around my back. <laughs> 